Hello designers, welcome back if you're subscribed and welcome here if you're new. In this video, I'll show you how to create your own chipped paint material on wood using the paint and wood of your choice. This will enable you to fully customize the appearance of any object based on your scene's atmosphere and your own vision. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it helped or if you found it useful. These are the objects I'll be working with for this tutorial. A wooden coffee table and a metal side table. This whole scene along with its materials and light setup will be available for free public download once part 2 is published. The link will be in the description below this video for Patreon supporters. Apparently I forgot to apply a paint material to this table's surface, so oops. Now there we go. This is what the objects look like when they're rendered. Bright, clean and random. The drawers and legs on the side table as well as the legs on the coffee table are weathered materials already. The surfaces are the ones needing a bit of a work. How about we add in some wear and tear and make them look old and used. Starting off with the wooden coffee table, for this video, I'll just select the surface area since it's the one with the paint on it. What I'll be doing today is that I'll create a material that blends two other materials together using a map. This map will show me where my paint will remain intact and where it is chipped or scratched off to show the wood underneath. You can find these maps almost anywhere online. I got this one from a website that I'll link below. The way V-Ray reads this map is that white equals coat or paint, and the black is base, which is wood in this case. Did not mean for that to rhyme, so anyways. I created a bump map from the same image so the paint is a tiny bit more raised than the wood underneath, and that they don't really look blended on the same surface. So with these two maps here, I'll go into the Materials tab and create a new blend material. Of course, it has to be renamed for easy finding. The first thing you see here is that the base is empty. So I will choose the designated wood material from the list of materials that I loaded into V-Ray. Next, we'll need to add in a coat, which is going to be the paint material. Now that the coat is loaded, you'll see that these two materials are kind of blending together into one without a map. To load the map, Click the texture icon across from Blend in Coat 1 and choose Bitmap. Navigate to your chosen blend map and load it. I'll switch to a floor material preview to see things more clearly. There, as you can see here, the material is all one smooth surface. But that's not what we're looking for here. That's why we need the bump map. If your bump map is way too aggressive like mine, you can always tune it down. I'll go for a 0 
Now the material looks much better, so it's time we apply it to our table surface. For some reason, my blend materials don't have a texture helper image, so these things can be a bit confusing. So to be able to see what is going on exactly with my material in SketchUp's viewport, I can scroll down to binding and assign the map as a texture. And it's supposed to update this purple color automatically to the image I chose. Or I can just go right ahead to the edit tab in SketchUp's material window and assign the texture image through there. Now I can resize or reposition my texture as I see fit. Now to do a quick test render to see the results, Now there you have it. This is the end result for our old and damaged table surface. That's it for part 1 of this tutorial. Stay tuned for part 2 where we will be recreating the same effect for a metal texture. Thank you for watching and stay safe.